In this section, we're going to be looking at the mail app, which allows us to set up, receive, review, and respond to emails from multiple accounts. So I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up the email account from the beginning. In order to do this, you need to have a Wi-Fi signal so that you can connect to the internet. And the iPad will basically do the rest. All you need to know is your email service provider, your username, and your password. So you'll be seeing what's happening on the iPad screen without me actually touching it because I'm using my Bluetooth keyboard. So I'm going to move to the mail icon. Mail. Double tap to open. And open it, and then we're going to get the process started. Mail. Welcome to mail. Heading. So once I enter the mail app for the first time, I see on the screen that there's a list of available email service providers. I can add my email from any one of these providers to the iPad. So it could be anything from Gmail to Hotmail or Yahoo, and the iPad will basically do all the work. I'm going to be using a Bluetooth keyboard. For those of you who do not have a Bluetooth keyboard, you can definitely do all of this work just using the virtual keyboard that's located on the device itself. Every time I'm going to be entering on something, it would be the equivalent of double tapping with your finger as you're moving through each section of the screen. I'm going to move through the list and find Gmail because that's the kind of account that I want to add today and enter on that. iCloud account. Microsoft Exchange account. Gmail account. Name. Text field. Is editing. John Appleseed. On this page, I'm going to type in my screen name, my email address, and my password. Once I've typed in all this information, I'm going to find the next button, which is located towards the top of my screen, and click on that. Email, name, next, button, Gmail, Gmail, notes, off, double tap to toggle setting, calendars, on, double tap to toggle. Okay, the next screen allows me to set certain options or certain settings for my email account so I can uh, set it to sync with my calendar and my notes and different things like that. I'm going to just flick through them and we'll just see what the different options are here. Notes. Off. Notes. Double tap to toggle setting. Calendars. On. Mail. Dimmed. On. Save. Button. Okay. Then it allows me to save. So I'm going to save the settings. Account added. Notes. Off. Inbox. Okay. That was it. The account has now been added to my iPad and it was a fairly quick process. Like I said, the iPad does most of the work. All you have to do is basically put in your, your username and password. To check for new email, I simply look for the refresh button on the screen and click it. Refresh button. And I... Refresh. When a new email comes into my inbox, the iPad makes a little ding sound, and I can move through the inbox and see what messages are there. Updated. 6 slash 21 slash 12. 3. 28. Search inbox. Unread. Sherry at gmail.com. Hi there. 328. So I just got a message from somebody named Sherry, and it says the subject line is hi there, and I'm going to display it on the screen by clicking on that too. Selected. Unread. So now that I've selected it, it actually displays on a different part of the screen. So I have to move to that part of the screen to read what was inside the message. Refresh, up, move, archive, reply, compose, from, Sherry, details, button, hi there. Okay, that's the subject. June 21st, 2012, 3.28 p.m. That's when it was sent. Message, how are you? Connected by Droid on Verizon. Okay, so I have a message that says, how are you? And I'm going to reply to it. How do I do that? I'm going to look for the reply button on the screen. How are you? June 20. Hi there. Detailed. Share it from. Compose. Reply. Button. I'm going to click on the reply button. Forward. Button. Reply. This opens a little dialog box, which gives me some options. So the first option is reply. Forward. The next button. one is forward. Print. Button. There's a third one called print. Right. If there are multiple recipients on the previous email or the email that I'm responding to, there will also be a reply to all button here. So this would be where you'd have to click the reply button from the message and that opens up a dialog box which gives you all these other options. So I'm going to go back to the reply button. Forward. Reply. Button. And click on that again. Message body. Text field. Is editing. Okay. And it's ready for me to start editing. 
apostrophe F S P O N G S V O P E L L K X W U P S P New line K O T S P E S P O U Question mark New line I'm doing very well That new line How are you Okay And then I'm ready to send I'm going to look for the send button on the screen Subject Subject C C slash two two Send button And I'm going to click on that Selected Inbox Okay, you may have heard a little whoosh sound. That's the sound that the iPad makes when an email goes out or when it's actually, when it connects to the internet and actually sends that email out. One other thing we can do is look at the different folders, what Apple calls the mailboxes area. I'm gonna to move to that section, which is on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Empty list, search inbox, edit, inbox, mailboxes, back button. Okay, that's a previous screen and what that does Mailboxes, inbox folder. It lists all the different folders that are available on my iPad right now. So I have the inbox for the Gmail account that I just set up. Drafts folder. I have my drafts folder. So just, you know, just as with any email program, if I'm working on, on an email and I haven't quite finished it, I can save it in my drafts folder and come back and work on it later. Sent mail folder. Sent mail keeps copies of my sent messages. Trash folder. Trash, obviously, is where deleted messages go. All mail folder. Then we have the all mail folder. Gmail folder, button. Right, so all mail folder and Gmail folder, it's, spe it's specific um, because you can actually have multiple emails coming into the same window with the, with the iPad. So you can have your Yahoo account and your Gmail account and your AOL account all coming into the same window, but, and you can either display them all together or you can display them or look at them separately if that's what you choose. Important folder. But right, you can um, mark things as important and save them to the important folder. Spam folder, button. Spam folder, obviously, is self-explanatory. Start folder, button. Starred folder are emails that you've starred and look at at a later date. CCVIP folder, button. Okay, CCVIP folder, that's, that's the uh, folder because that's who this iPad belongs to. So uh, under the CCVIP folder, we have also additional folders. The iPad creates folders for you that it thinks you might need and at, at any point you're able to create your own folder so you can have a folder that's specific to emails from your mom right so this is mom, my mom folder and all your emails from your mom go into that particular folder you get to create that as well but the ipad does create some folders for you that it thinks might be useful and that's email